life in Tampa Bay. Online at ConsumerQB.com. All right, we appreciate you spending some time with us here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. It means the world to us when you engage with us and support our show partners. You're supporting the local economy by supporting the Consumer Quarterback Show and all of our expert contributors. Uh, we greatly appreciate that. Online at ConsumerQB.com. Logan Briggs in the house, Total Home Roofing. He's our contractor expert contributor for all things roofing uh, throughout uh, the show and our listening audience in the state of Florida and beyond. Uh, and uh, we're going to talk with him in just a moment. Before we do, quick shout out to our friends over at Discovery Golf Cars, longtime friends of the program. And they hooked us up with a beautiful Keller Williams Red golf cart. And the dogs love going for a ride. They got the Easy Go, the Star EV, the Cushman. They've got new and pre owned. And they also have many locations, multiple locations here in Tampa. The Bay Clearwater. Uh, they got one in Pasco and also one over towards like Lando Lakes area on 41 North there. Uh, but yeah, we, we love our relationship with Discovery Golf Cars. Check them out online, discoverygolfcars.com. Let them know the real estate quarterback sent you. Uh, take them up on special offers and incentives just by mentioning that you're a fan of the Consumer Quarterback Show. All right, we always feature our real estate listings live on air. It's part of our strategy to help our sellers sell faster for more money. And we are going to pitch a couple of hot listings here uh, that we've got in the Tampa Bay area. we got one on North Clearwater Beach, 861 Mandalay Avenue. Just did a major price improvement on this property. We did a price reduction of $100,000. 861 Mandalay Avenue, beautiful property on the beach, open floor plan, gorgeous quartz countertop, stainless steel appliances, uh, just a beautiful layout and floor plan. Uh, you have a two-bedroom, two-bath property, single-family home, and you've got jetted tub, charming pergola. You're on the sugar sand beaches of Dolphin and Dolphin-filled waters of Clearwater Beach here. Uh, beautiful home. Uh, got a new roof as well in 2020. Uh, 861 Mandalay Avenue, Clearwater Beach, one of our hot real estate listings from the Platinum MVP team, Keller Williams Realty. All right, we got a co-listing here in North Carolina, 530 Heaton Forest Road. Uh, this is a mansion for sale on 20-plus acres, 11 bedrooms, 10 bathrooms, 10,000 square feet. Welcome to your luxurious oasis in High Hampton, uh, the golf course community of High Hampton. Beautiful home, 530 Heaton Forest Road. We've got a mansion for sale, Cashiers, North Carolina. Uh, this is a $10 million listing. Compliments of the Bill DeVore real estate team in the Carolinas, Keller Williams Professionals, Keller Williams Realty. And you can see all of our real estate listings at PlatinumCoastalElite.com. All right, Logan Briggs in the house, Total Home Roofing. Hey, man, how are you? Yeah, awesome, man. It's good awesome. to be in studio. Yeah, good to, good to have you back. You've yeah. been traveling a little bit on the phones uh, yeah. the last few times. Up and down the West Coast, man, everywhere from all the way down to Naples to Marco Island, uh, you know, to Jacksonville, too. Yeah. So I've been traveling a lot, making sure my teams are out there selling, make sure our customers are happy, make sure we're building roofs on time and getting them done. Yeah. That's awesome, man. Yeah. And what? So do you still? You mentioned in South Florida, you're still dealing with some of the the remnants of the hurricane from last year. Yeah, I mean, it's it's so wild. I mean, I was just down in Fort Myers Beach like about two weeks ago, and it was still looked like the storm happened yesterday. Did it really? Yeah, I mean, a lot of a lot of buildings are tearing down, a lot of construction going on still. It's truly really a sad scene down there still. Um, and yeah, I mean, those people need all the help we can get from us and. And hopefully we can start building some roofs quickly and, and yeah. getting things back to normal down there. I know there was a Keller Williams that got pushed all the way across the street, literally from one side to the other. So is it still debris yeah. just sitting piled up in a lot of yeah, places? They've got or? a lot of the debris out of there, but there's a lot of parking lots that are still stacked up with debris from probably that building that was there at one point. Right. Um, you know, there's, there's still street lights out. Wow. You know, it's it's pretty wild to go down there and, and, and see it. So, wow, I mean, the people, if, if you're going to take a little beach trip, head down there, the, the economy could use it. Wow. No doubt. So there are still places to stay then? Yeah, there's still places to stay. There's still restaurants open. They're very limited, but regardless, they're open. And, you yeah. know, they have tents up. They're doing everything they can to stay in business. Wow. Yeah, yeah. the economy does need it. That's a good point to make there. Um, so talk to me about what you're seeing out there. You know, we, we have mentioned in previous shows some of the challenges with with insurance and then of course yeah. insurance is relating to the mortgage you can't get the, the the insurance can't get the mortgage can't close the sales contract the purchase and sale contract uh what are you seeing on your end yeah we're seeing i mean we're, we're continuing to see insurance companies you know leave the state right i think the most recent one was farmers that's probably the largest one that people might know but there's a lot of smaller ones that are leaving too yep um and you know we with, with, with less competition, that's not a good thing for us as consumers, right? We right. want more competition because that's going to bring our premiums down. But unfortunately, premiums continue to go up. Yeah. I mean, as it, as you know, it seems like everyone's going to be writing policies with citizens soon. Yeah. You know? I mean, that's the state 
I kind of ran insurance carrier for the state of Florida. And we continue to see those guys, you know, raise their rates, Yeah. you know, and, and their, their policies get shorter to about six month policies versus, you know, an annual. So we're in a lot of non-renewal letters go out, right? That's a scary letter when a homeowner like mine's up at the end of September. So wow. I've got to get insurance from a new carrier. My home's only three years old, but bankers wow. insurance is leaving the state too. Maybe it's a smaller name. Maybe some people are familiar with it, but they're leaving as well. And they're yeah. just done writing policies in Florida, you know, and I believe last June or July, you know, they did write some different policies that are going to favor the insurance companies, you know, right. and that those take time to catch up. So yeah. we're probably anticipating insurance rates that continues to stay pretty high for the next year. Yeah. But then also, you know, a lot of insurance carriers are going to drop you. Yeah. So the the fastest way to or the best way to get a good insurance policy is with a brand new roof, right? So if your roof right. is ten years old, it is time to start planning, budgeting because there's a good chance your carrier you have now is going to jack up your rates. Yep. So it's unaffordable, or you're going to be not renewed, and yeah. then you're going to have to get a new roof. And yeah. then a new roof will definitely allow you to get coverage from hopefully outside of citizens and get multiple carriers. But at this point, it's looking like citizens is going to be it. Yeah, you know, it, for the longest time we were we were kind of joking like, hey, we need to bring that as a clip on the show. You know, how we played these little sound buttons. Yeah, the one for uh, I think it was Queen. This don't 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 another one bites the dust, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because so they, they were constantly leaving the state, right? Yeah. I mean, they're, they're leaving the state, mm -hmm. and then it leaves, as you mentioned, uh, fewer choices. Uh, that's going to lead to, and, and unfortunately, we're seeing this along the banking industry now too with mm -hmm. SV Bank. Uh, some of these banking closures on uh, yesterday's show. I just read a another story where uh, S and P downgrades. Uh, U.S. banks, so like there's a handful of banks here, Key Corp, Comerica, Valley Bank, you know, so you're seeing consolidation, yeah. and, and unfortunately that's not good for consumers. We don't like to see that. Yeah. No, yeah. and I mean, it always favors that top 1%, you know, they yep. continue to always get richer, so you know, I mean, whether that's working with, that's what's going on now, or just the conditions we have in Florida, I think it's yet to be determined. Yeah. You know, I think it's just, it's not going to be going away for the next year or so with, for homeowners. I mean, a lot of, a lot of our estimates that we run, are all with homeowners that are they're, they're being dropped by their insurance carrier and they got to get a new roof in yeah. order to get a new policy written yeah yeah it's, it's scary it, it, when you look at that and so let's talk about this the supply chain i mentioned a little bit mm -hmm. you know prior to show the supply chain back to normal fully fully functioning pricing yeah. is is kind of moderated it's not because i remember in the beginning there for a while it was tough to get certain things and it might have cost more yeah i mean we're, we're seeing like a more manageable price increases yeah. from some of our suppliers and distributors uh the, the actual building materials shingles underlayment nails flashing drip edge stuff like that that actually the components of a roof we're not seeing any kind of shortages but we're going to continue to see price increases there's mm. no doubt i mean i think another one's hitting the market you know at the end of our month of august so yep. it's going to continue to go up with pricing uh but the other the other variable too is labor right, right? so i mean we're continuing to see labor shortages in the market that delay projects i mean it's hard work and it's really hard work this time of year to get up there on a roof rip it off for 12 hours in the sun and you know get down and do it the next day right. so we're continuing to see some labor uh labor shortages but i mean it, they work hard and you know we try to treat them as, as as good as we can so we can get them to come the next day absolutely you know? uh we're talking with logan briggs total home roofing here on the consumer quarterback show all things roofing we want you working with the local economy here supporting the show uh supporting our expert contributors consumerqb.com uh and, and on that topic i actually key to i have a, a story that i pulled offline americans want seventy nine thousand to switch jobs uh this is i i pulled off a of linkedin news american workers so it's another record high here Biden inflation right american American workers wage floor quote unquote the minimum amount they'd accept in a new job hit a record high of 78,645 in July says a new survey from the Federal Reserve Bank of New York a year earlier that number was 72,900 uh, in July 2021 69,000 uh, women's pay expectations rose 11 percent uh, so so yeah we're, we're kind of on that theme here of labor you know, labor and, and then, you know, so we have this open southern border. Mm -hmm. uh, people are coming through. How, how does that affect your industry? I mean, because aren't they cracking down in the state of Florida, too? Because I remember there was a sheriff deputy that got hit uh, by an illegal. So they, they I think they implemented some type of a response from the Florida legislature. 
Uh, but yeah, it's tough to find good help, man. Yeah, I think there was a, like a new law where, like, if your business has over twenty five employees, you have to use some kind of visa verification system. I'm not a hundred percent sure right. what it is, but that affects a lot of our crews, right? Right. But I mean, they get smart. They start to break up their companies and they start to, you know, just make it more companies, you right. know. And that's, but you'll see a lot just leave the state. Right. You know, they'll just leave and they'll just go to, you know, Georgia, South Carolina, back to Texas, you know, yep. the Mississippis until hopefully this will settle down because that shortage is creating price increases. Right. right? They get, the crews want more money. Right. And, you know, it's tough to tell them no when it's 95 degrees out there. And, right. You know, the labor, it's hard work. So they, they, they're they getting it. And that just drives the price up for everybody. Yeah, it does. Uh, let's take a quick break there. More with uh, Logan Briggs, Total Home Roofing, coming up here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. Uh, we'll be right back here after a short break. Don't go anywhere. Follow us online. We'd love to connect at Brandon Rhymes one on Instagram, at CQB Show as well, and YouTube.com forward slash uh, Brandon Rhymes Realty. Also, check out the podcast anywhere you get your podcast. And we'll be right back here. Consumer Quarterback Show, ConsumerQB.com. This is work done, and you're listening to the Real Estate Quarterback Show, hosted by my man, Brandon Rimes. All right, welcome back. Brandon Rimes here, Consumer Quarterback Show. This segment is brought to you by Height Soft Wash, a pressure washing company right here in Tampa Bay. Ramin Kazami is our friend, and he owns the company called Height Soft Wash, pressure washing, residential, commercial, real estate. Uh, you can check them out online, HeightSoftWash.com, and they do such a great job. They've done our single-family home and also a lot of our real estate properties, HeightSoftWash.com. Make sure you let them know the real estate quarterback sent you. Take them up on special offers and incentives just by mentioning that you're a fan of the Consumer Quarterback Show. Also, we'll let you know about a program we have through Keller Williams called K-Score. Uh, K-Score is a really unique program that will allow you. So it, a lot of people these days are being crunched by the economy, the inflation, the numbers. We've all heard it and seen it with groceries and everything off the charts. Uh, record number, record highs. We've got a program through Keller Williams called K-Score. Now, K-Score will allow you to have a side hustle of real estate. You can get your real estate license, and we have a free online class. It's powered by Kaplan uh, through Keller Williams Realty, powered by Kaplan. So think about this. You get a, you get your real estate license. Of course, you got to pass the state exam, do your fingerprints, et cetera, get licensed. At that point, now you're able to uh, what we call refer business in. You would refer be a referral agent in the real estate space. Uh, there are some really interesting stories. There's one team that had a hairstylist that referred something like 18 deals over a short period of time and made an additional you know thirty eight thousand dollars or so in income so by simply referring the business in you're able to make create a side hustle and of course there's classes and everything involved there that can help you do that it's called k score powered by kaplan through the keller williams uh, realty uh, organization we have office in clearwater as well that they have classes there to help you pass your test if you'd like more information just reach out to the show or if you'd like introductions to any of our expert contributors uh, give us a call, 727-263-3707. Uh, you can call or text the hotline, 727-263-3707. Also online at ConsumerQB.com. All right, more with Logan Briggs, Total Home Roofing here uh, coming up in just a moment. Before we do, we always like to feature our real estate listings uh, on the air to help our sellers profit more and sell faster. Part of our unique selling proposition and our strategy through Keller Williams. Uh, 2817 Gulf City Road in Ruskin. Uh, this is a large parcel of land. Uh, we've got 23 acres on the Little Manatee River. This is access to the Gulf of Mexico waterfront property and i think this would be a great opportunity to build townhomes condos maybe even just put in a uh, mobile home type uh, rv uh, park there 2817 gulf city road ruskin uh, opportunity here in tampa bay waterfront bring your boats and design your lifestyle there all right another property here We've got Pebble Creek Court in Orlando, 100-acre parcel of land. This is a co-listing that we've got with one of our Orlando partners, the Meraki Group in Orlando. 100 acres of prime development opportunity land, uh, excellent location for a short-term rental community. You are 10 to 15 minutes from Disney World, Universal Studios, SeaWorld, downtown, and more, uh, just a few miles away. 100 acres, and this is a $13 million listing that we have uh, co-listed with the Meraki Group in Orlando. Pebble Creek Court, Four Corners, Florida, Orange County, Osceola County. And you can see all of our real estate listings at Platinum Coastal Elite. Dot com. Buy dirt, find the one you can't live without. 
All right, Logan Briggs in the house. What else do we need to know in the roofing space? What else are you seeing out there? You got your. I know you do have your. Uh, I want to talk about deposits because I mm-hmm. think that's one area that people get taken advantage of from that consumer advocate, uh, you know, position. Deposits. What's a reasonable deposit? Yeah, I mean, for us, none. There should be zero deposit. There's no money down with us. You don't bill till your roof is completed and you're happy with the, the job we did. Wow. That's really, really important. I mean, our estimates are free too, right? So our estimates are an hour long appointment. You know, we're going to give you, leave you a same day price there on the spot. You know, we're not going to sit there for two hours and wear you down to get you to sign. We're not the pushy. Right. We're not selling timeshares, right? We're selling roofs. So yeah. we want to make sure it's an enjoyable enjoyable experience because we want your neighbors right we yeah. want your referrals you want to be able to send us to your aunt and uncle and we're not going to sit there and pressure them into buying a roof from us yeah. so all of our estimates are free same day pricing too which is really really important too for homeowners we don't leave you hanging with an email in five to ten days whenever we feel like doing it right. our estimates are given to you that day nice and then on top of it when you do sign with us there is no deposit there's nothing there's no money down wow you don't pay till the project's completed and you're done man Gives you that's a lot awesome. of peace of mind we've heard so many horror stories yeah. where i gave him 50 percent down and he gave me a discount he was such a nice guy Guy, and then he never came back. He never showed he up. He never showed up. Yeah. So that's not going to happen with us. Wow. Um, you, you, mm. And you know, I've seen some some reputable contractors maybe offer five, ten percent, but that's it. Yeah. That's max. I mean, yeah. you should never really go above that, especially with roofing. Um, they should be able to manage enough of their cash flow and and, t- and have the relationships with distributors and manufacturers that they're able exactly. to to get that product there and the crew there without having any out of pocket. Yeah, there was there was a pool company in Tampa Bay. It was in the news. Shoot. I think it was Olympus. I, I, yeah. I, I hope I'm right on the name. I'm pretty sure I am. Uh, but yeah, they they arrested the guy. I saw the hillsborough county sheriff posting it on their social media yeah. they, they arrested this guy and he was taking deposits got behind on the books i guess yep. ends up you know what do they say robin peter to pay paul type thing mm-hmm. and uh, yeah caught up with him in and, and he was taking large deposits and we've heard the stories as well oh yeah uh where especially when a hurricane comes through or some type mm-hmm. of a storm some type of a disaster oh yeah we'll tarp your roof and we'll do these things and then maybe they do a little bit of work and get yeah. just get the you know, the roof tarped and put forth the basic effort but then they'll take that large deposit and they're gone yeah and then they're gone you never hear from them again and then i mean it's so important that anytime you're dealing with any contract or not just in roofing but you know from from my world as we always have our roofing license with us yeah we always have our insurance and workers comp information right there yeah. every estimate that's given to them in a folder so they have that documented a lot of home roofers might just show up and then they're going to get up on your roof i mean heaven forbid if they fall off that roof you're responsible for that that's right. the last thing you want to be dealing with so make sure that you're always dealing with a licensed and insured contractor yeah. too and they should provide that for you that the second they step on the property or after they knock on your door. That's not a rude question to ask. It is something you should definitely ask the contractor for. Yeah, absolutely. Talk to me about AOB. What is this assignment of benefits thing? Ooh, that's a dirty word in roofing. <laughs> yeah, and just the insurance world in general. Yeah. I mean, I've always heard different things like that AOBs are no longer allowed and they're illegal contracts, but I don't know how much the state can get involved and say a contract's illegal. Mm-hmm. Um, we do not offer those. We don't push those at all. AOBs are an assignment a benefit or an assignment of claim literally gives all the authority to the contractor to deal with your insurance company and your claim. Wow. So if the insurance company says, yeah, I'm going to give you $20,000 for your $20,000 roof, they can go back and say, no, I want $30,000. And then mm-hmm. they start this whole argument and then there's, this, there's debates and mediation and, and that homeowner sitting there without a roof, Yeah. you know, for months and for even maybe years you know, and it's just not something, it's not a situation you want to put yourself in. So no matter what, how convincing that contractor is or how much you trust them, an AOB always tends to get ugly. Yeah. It's just not something you want to be a part of. Um, if you are talking to a contractor, you know, a work authorization is something that you should see. That's a very common form. And really all that does is give give the contractor the right to talk to your insurance company on your behalf. Right. AOB gives them the, the right over your claim. You're I mean, assigning they are, the benefits. Yes, you're assigning the benefits of that contractor. They take complete control of your claim, which can lead to a lot, a lot of problems in the future. Yeah, makes sense. Uh, we're talking with Logan Briggs here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. Total Home Roofing, one of the largest in the southeast or the country. I remember last the largest time. Largest in the said, state of Florida when it comes to re-roofing residential homes. We do them the most. Um, okay. We're 12th in the country overall. Nice. And then we're the third largest in the in the in the country for residential re-roofing for what we do. Wow, third yeah. largest. That's awesome. Yeah, man. we got the whole state covered. Very good. Mm-hmm. That's good stuff. And then financing options. What what, is, what did you have as far as financing options? Yeah, our financing options are we're going to give you an array of different things depending on your budget and what your goals are. You know, we have some that are no interest down, which may be a little bit more aggressive payment, like, a, you know, paid off in 18 to 24 months. But then we have some that you can stretch it all the way out to 120 months, mm-hmm. you know, and then you can have a low manageable payment. The best thing about all of our 
financial options is that they can be paid off early and there's no fees for doing that, right? That's so good. we have a lot of homeowners that sign up for that 120 month, but the average the average time they pay it off is about 50 to 60 months. And you do have the 15 uh, year uh, workmanship warranty. Yeah, we have lifetime uh, lifetime warranties from all of our manufacturers because we're certified platinum installers for Owens Corning. That's the shingle we provide for homeowners. But on top of that, there's a 15 year workmanship warranty, which means if there's something wrong with you, you have a leak, you have anything wrong, you're missing shingles, you're calling us. You don't have to deal with your insurance company. There's no claim process. You call us, we're coming out, we're fixing it. No questions asked. Yeah, sir. That's great. That's good stuff, man. I like it. That's and when you when you think about the industry, get the insurance check. Get get in, in you know, you get the free inspection. You guys mm -hmm. will offer that. We also have oh, yeah. Jay Smith, A Snoop Inspection, Dan and Melissa Minikheim, uh, with uh, SEC inspections as well. They can do a four point inspection. They can also do a um, you know their mitigation risk inspection too, and that'll help with the insurance too. Yeah, I mean, most importantly. Uh Whenever we finish one of our roofs, we're doing a wind mitigation report, and that's a report that we're going to actually hire a, a licensed home inspector to come and do. Okay. Because all these amazing things we're going to do to your roof, we want to get you, you want to get credit for them, and the home inspector will come out and they'll document everything we did to your roof. They'll create a wind mitigation report, and then you can turn that into your insurance company, and right off the bat, you'll get it, you'll get savings, right, from anywhere between five to ten percent right off your current policy. But most importantly. With that wind mitigation report, you can get you can bid out your homeowner's insurance to multiple carriers at that point. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. And you guys also have the uh, peel and stick now. Yeah, that's the peel the and stick technology. underlayment is what we're going to use for all of our roofs. We don't ever use synthetic or felt. Peel and stick is the best. It's a rubber band printed product. It doesn't doesn't um, you don't have to put any nails into it. It's attached it to your roof, so it adheres to your roof, so it's watertight. But most importantly, it's going to get you a discount on your homeowner's insurances, which yeah. is really, really important. Yeah, that's a, that's an important look at. Uh, hey, reach out to the hotline. We'd love for you to connect. You can even text the word ROOF to 727-263-3707, and we'll put you in touch with Logan Briggs, Total Home Roofing, 727-263-3707. Uh, text the word ROOF there, or just give us a call, or uh, go to ConsumerQB.com, and you can submit the email form on our website. It comes through to my email, uh, just like an email. So, Logan, thanks again for coming in. Lots Absolutely. of good information Yeah, today. thank you so much, Brandon. Appreciate it. My pleasure. And, hey, another great show. We had Thomas King, Florida Firearms Academy, our Second Amendment expert uh, contributor on the program as well. Uh, I want to thank all of our listeners, our viewers, everybody supporting the program, our production team, Jose, Nicole, and Alex. Thank you so much. And please go out there, consider committing a random act of kindness, do something kind for one another, and be a force for good in the community. And we'll see you next time right here on the Consumer Quarterback Show online at ConsumerQB.com. You've been listening to the Consumer Quarterback, Brandon Rhymes. Whether it's real estate, consumer, or financial advice, let Brandon call your next one.